Tom. Hello, everybody! Tom Fox here, back to more of the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, the Krug Chronicles. If you're wondering what Krug is looking at, he, he was looking at a skeleton that was walking by. In the last episode, uh, we faked somebody's death. I think we also killed somebody in a prison? Was that last episode? I think it was. Either way, Krug is elated. Anyway, in this episode... Well, now, you are an ambitious one, aren't you? I'm afraid I have no more contracts for you. Our time working together has come to an end. Oh, no. Instead, you must report to Ochiva here in the Sanctuary. She will be providing all your contracts from now on and is waiting for you as we speak. Hooray. Before you go, however, I intend to make good on an offer I made some time ago. As a vampire, I may pass my gift on to others as I see fit. You have served me well, and I choose now to extend that gift to you. Shall I use my dark powers and turn you into a vampire? You know what? Yes. Most excellent. Here is what you must do. Simply go to sleep here in the sanctuary at any time, and I will visit you as you slumber. I will wrap you in vampirism's dark embrace. You'll never even know I was there. But when you awaken, we will be of the same blood. Once infected with vampirism, you must wait three days and then sleep once more. Then the dark gift will truly take hold. Sleep now, and awake anew. All of this time trying to avoid vampirism. It but now... My heart with to now, again. Krug has... Krug, Krug has a vendetta. Krug will merely sleep for one hour. Upon awaking, I've, disco I've discovered two bleeding pinpricks in my neck. It would appear Vincente uh, did indeed visit me last night and pass along this dark gift. If what uh, Valtieri told me is true, my vampirism will begin to manifest itself in three days after I sleep once more. Does that mean I have, um... Uh... Porific hemophilia? Should be under active effects. Yep! Por uh, porphyric hemophilia, excuse me. Hello. Ah, greetings. I have been waiting for you. As Vicente surely told you, your time working with him has come to an end. From now on, you will receive all assignments directly from me. In fact, your next contract is available now. Uh, okay. Lucien Lachance. Lucien isn't here very often. His duties with the Black Hand keep him very busy, so he trusts me to keep the Sanctuary in order. For some reason, I thought Lucian and Vincente were the same person. And, I, and, and, like, I don't know why. Just seeing, it was just from seeing his name, and I was like, oh, yeah, Lucian, that's the guy I talked to to get my contracts, right? Vicente. I, I... All right, uh, contract. In the Imperial City, there lives a High Elf who must be removed from existence. Finding this person may prove... Challenging. Are you interested? Very. Always. I accept the contract. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Your target is a high elf named Thalian. He lives somewhere in the Imperial City and fancies long walks. Unfortunately, that's all we know. We don't know which district he calls home, which establishments he frequents, or anything about his schedule. This contract will require a bit of detective work. I suggest you speak to your fellow brothers and sisters and see if they can offer any advice. I wonder, since I'm the- Ah, yes. There is one more thing. The Imperial City is also home to an Imperial Legion captain named Adamus Philida. Do you know who that is? Presumably someone bad. No, I've never heard of him. Philida has dedicated his life to eradicating the Dark Brotherhood, and he becomes rather irate when our duties take us to the Imperial City. When that happens, he tends to make our lives uncomfortable. Let's not give the good captain any reason to go poking around in our affairs, hmm? If possible, do away with Phalian someplace out of the way, definitely indoors with no other people around. A secure location, with no witnesses. This will make it look like a simple murder. Philida will be none the wiser, and you'll receive a nice bonus. Now go, and may Slithus go with you. Gonna, uh, definitely got a quick save for, uh, for this one here. 
Uh, let's see what my brethren have to say, including my vampiric brethren, who is not here at the moment. Please leave a message after the sound of your blood being drained. Anyway, uh... Oh, it's my pleasure. Please continue. Hello, Vicente. Contract. The elves of the Imperial City are a fairly close-knit community. One of them will have at least heard of Phalion. You should ask around. All right. The Count of Skin... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you said the same thing about the Count of Skin, Red. Ah, dear friend. May I steal a moment of your time? I have a rather delicate situation I was hoping you could help me with. Ooh, extra quest? This is a personal matter, and will have no bearing on your standing within the Dark Brotherhood. Would you like to hear more? Hood. Yes, tell me more. I find your decision most agreeable. Now the details. Far south of here, on the southern end of Cyrodiil, lies a swamp called Bogwater. Hiding in that swamp, you will find an Argonian shadow scale named Scartail. Kill this renegade and bring me his heart as proof of the deed. Proof of the deed. All right. Uh, yeah. Contract. I do so love pursuing a contract in the Imperial City. Okay. He doesn't say anything useful. Shadow scale. In the Argonian homeland of Black Marsh, those born under the sign of the shadow are taken at birth and presented to the Dark Brotherhood. A shadow scale hatchling is trained in the arts of stealth and assassination and lives a life in service to the mighty kingdom of Argonia. Interesting. Any shadow scale who lives to come of age is accepted into the Dark Brotherhood as a full member of the family. So it was with myself and Ochiva. What about Scartail? When Ochiva and I trained with the Dark Brotherhood as children, we befriended another initiate, a shadow scale by the name of Scartail. The three of us were inseparable. When our training was completed, we reluctantly parted ways. But now, now, the unthinkable has happened. Scartail has fled Black Marsh and refuses to fulfill his duties as a royal assassin. This is an act of treason. This treachery must be punished. Just as a member of the Dark Brotherhood cannot kill a fellow family member, a Shadow Scale is forbidden from slaying another Shadow Scale. That is why you must go to Bogwater and eliminate that treacherous snake. Please kill Scartail so Chiva and I can put this matter behind us. Hmm. But what would... May you walk always in the shadow of cities. But what would Ochiva think of this? While Thalian walk... Uh, Scartail. Scartail is a traitor to Argonia and a blight upon Tamriel. Kill him as my brother requests, and we will be forever in your debt. Wow, okay. Go now, dear family member, and may the night... I was half expecting this to be like a... No, no, don't, don't kill him. Just... Just don't. It's not. Ooh, am I still working? Okay, good. <laughs> Every time I have to check that and be absolutely sure that I'm not. Oh, all right. Let's start with the shadow scale. Uh, Renegade shadow scale. Oh, I've been to Bogwater. Good chance that I might have killed this guy already. I guess I've been expecting you, assassin. Don't try to deny it. I can see it in your eyes. Your dark brotherhood through and through. Let me guess. It was Ochiva, right? No, wait. Uh, Tainava. Yes, he put you up to this, didn't he? Ochiva was always too busy to even be bothered. Well, you can kill me if you like. I'm afraid I won't make much of a challenge, though. The Argonian royal court already sent an agent to do the job. He failed, of course. His body's around here somewhere. But he got him a pretty good hit. If I don't get some rest, I'm probably dead anyway. 
So maybe I can appeal to your sense of goodwill, huh? <laughs> you let me live, and I'll tell you where I stashed my treasure. Is it a deal? Porque no los dos. Sure, it's a deal. You show unexpected mercy. For that, I am thankful. My treasure is hidden in a hollowed-out rock near my campfire. It's yours. Oh, yes. I suppose Tainava wants proof that I'm dead, eh? Let me guess. My heart? I suggest you take the heart of the dead Argonian agent. His body is around here somewhere. Present the agent's heart to Tainava as proof, and he'll be none the wiser. I cannot betray their trust, but I can certainly betray yours. Scar Tail's been killed, and I must now return to the Dark Brotherhood and Chain and present his heart to Tivana. Someone sees. Oh, the horse sees me. Argonian heart. I'll let out rock me the campfire. Obtain the Argonian heart, I must uh, now return to the Dark Brotherhood uh, and present it to. Yeah. Hollowed out rock. Ah, here it is. So where's the, where's the body of the other dude? I'm curious what he had on him. If he's around at all. I, I, I kind of like the dialogue of like, he's around here somewhere. I don't, I can't be bothered. Well, at any rate, that uh, that quest went very easily. Let's go to the to the lonely wanderer and try to find out something from that, shall we? In the meantime, I suppose I'll just have to wait. Let's go to 8:30 a.m. I'm sure there'll be some morning elves, as it were. What? Are there any elves awake here? You are you not an elf. So it was like sometime at night. Right, let's try. Let's try afternoon then. Oh. What do you? Yeah, you're not. A, you're not an elf either. You too. Neither oh, are you. Was it only at night that I could find this person? Because I saw I had a marker on my map for a for a, a split second. He did say the elves are a close community, though, so I should probably start. It's you. Hi. Uh. Look at the muscles on you. Fighting chance. Probably. I think one of the one of the magic dealers. Oh, there's a bunch of people in the center of town now, so maybe there's an elf there. Been better. How about you? Goodbye. Yeah, I've been there. Bye. Ah, yes. Phalian. Phalian, you say? Why, yes, I know who he is. Rather distasteful fellow, actually. I believe he lives at the Tiber Septim Hotel. Thank you, Vathas. That's in the Talos Plaza district, here in the Imperial City. I'd ask around there if I were you. Thank you. You Good look like you've <laughs> Ah, this person does not know of my of my dark desire. You have my ear, citizen. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. I was meaning to chop that off later. Yeah. Oh, Phalian, dear Phalian, why must you ruin both our lives? Yes, good sir. I heard you talking about Phalian. Phalian, he. He's my sweet, my true love. But I don't know why I'm telling this to you. I mean, we hardly know each other and all. Hmm, okay. Oh, well, you know, I'll play this game. Okay. What a wonderful What a fool. So you say. Let's keep it going. Not bad. Not bad. 
No, you do me too much honor. I do you just enough Not honor. That, that. What a wonderful compliment. All right. Please. Yeah. That. What a fool. All right. All right. I get it. Please, I... I don't mean to get emotional, but... I feel I can trust you. I just don't know what to do about Phalian. All he thinks about, all he cares about is Skuma. He was a fine young man once, but he's lost everything. His looks, his money, his self-respect. I followed him a few times to see where he goes. He walks around the city looking for Skuma. And then he goes to Lorkmere's house for several hours. It's in the Elfin Gardens district. I think the house is deserted. That's why he goes there. So he can escape from life and do his skooma. Skooma. Thank you for listening. You're a good friend. I just hope my sweet Phalian can clean himself up, or that awful skooma will be the death of him. <laughs> You're a good friend, uh what was what was your name again? Elven Gardens District, huh? Sounds like a good place to find my mark. That guy was about to speak and then didn't. He was like, uh, uh. Lork me his house. Cursed eyes of the watchers on. And the town guard as well. If you would not mind clearing the highways and byways of this bustling city, so that I might do my work. Krug. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He made a mistake and is going downstairs. Oh, he ends up here at some point. He's not here yet. Well, then I guess it's time to wait. It's an unoccupied house, so I guess nobody cares that I'm waiting here. Should probably wear my gray fox cowl. Maybe after midnight? It's not in here. At some point, he just ends up in here. Um, every day for several hours alone at Lorkmere's house. Maybe it's only during the day? I'll wait for a little bit longer at night and see what happens. 4.20 a.m., the perfect time to, to do? Nope. Let's, uh, let's keep it moving, then. We'll try, we'll try 9 a.m. 9 a.m. and I'm here doing school, ma. Oh, a loading, aha. Hey, whoa, you shouldn't. Hey, hey, how, what are, uh, what are you doing here? You're not my, not my friend. What? You know, what, what, what do you want? Uh, shush now, it's time to sleep. Sleep? Uh, but, nah, no, I, I, I'm not tired, not tired right now. I have lots of, you know, energy. The skooma, I can feel it in my veins. Uh, I want to speak to him one more time without the cowl, so that way I can get the, hello. Hey, hey. God damn it, I still have the, okay, there we go. Shush. Sleep? Uh, but, nah. No, I, I... I'm not tired. Not tired right now. I have lots of, you know, energy. The skooma. I can feel it in my veins. The skooma. Skooma being, like, the best... <clears throat> there he goes. Lorkmere's house key. There we go. Phalian, uh, Phalian is dead. I killed him in Lorkmere's house. Uh, a secure location with no witnesses. I must now return to achieve and receive my reward and bonus. Nice! Uh, 
The rain shall cleanse the blood off of me, and my mur and my sins shall be washed away. <laughs> something, something, Boondock Saints. Get the muscles on you. Well, thank you. Are you aware of my soon-to-be vampiric prowess? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, Chiva! The High Elf Thalian now swims in the maelstrom of darkness at the feet of our dread father, Sithis, and there were no witnesses to your handiwork. Because of the discretion you exercised, Captain Philida will not suspect the Dark Brotherhood was involved and will not meddle in our affairs. Here is your reward and bonus. Both have been well earned. Go now and rest, and may the Night Mother guard your dreams. I demand another contract. I have another contract when you're ready. One that will rely on your ability to remain fully undetected. Well, guess who's the Grey Fox? Far to the west, there lives a fierce warlord and his company of loyal mercenaries. Your target is the warlord. Do you accept this contract? Hell yes, dude. Excellent. Now listen closely. Nestled in the mountains to the west lies Fort Such. It is the home of the warlord Roderick and his mercenaries. Roderick has recently taken ill. He now lies in eternal slumber, kept alive only by the daily administration of a powerful medicine. You must infiltrate Fort Such Find Roderick's medicine and replace it with a poisoned bottle I will provide, but you must remain undetected. Whomever arranged this contract wants it to look like Roderick died from his illness, so discretion is essential. Attack no one. Be seen by no one. If you are detected, the poisoning will fail, and Roderick must be killed in some other manner. That will, of course, forfeit your bonus. Which means I'm going to have to make like 80 invisibility potions. Bad medicine. Anybody else around here got any, uh, got any advice on what to do? Oh, Krug has fallen so far. But Krug now lives on fear. Hello. A pleasure to speak with you. What do you know about this contract? These mercenary groups tend to be fanatically loyal to whomever leader they follow. Roderick's people will likely fight to the death. Be cautious. I'm wondering if they have any, uh, any, uh, advice for me, dear on, uh, like, things I should be doing specifically? You again. Well, you know what, there's probably, there's gonna be a good chance that I may end up being your leader one day. Yes, dearest brother. Contract. Oh? Using poison is so deliciously evil. I once poisoned my aunt Stew, and she fell over dead with her face right in the bowl. <laughs> didn't really have lip flaps on that laugh. Either way, uh, I didn't know your aunt could be named Stew. Good luck, brother. I hope, I hope you, you don't get killed. She's a, very, she's a very happy killer, she is. She be a happy killer, that one. I suppose I should try to talk with people, possibly in the living quarters. And they're just walking around street level. You and I, we got to. Yeah, you said that before. What do you mean nobody can see you? Where's the fun in that? Damn the bonus, I say. Just walk in there and stab him. My favorite brand of beer is beer brand beer. Hold on, let me just like hey, beer I brand don't like beer. To tell story. I get that you're having Happy a thing with the brother. high elf lady. Anybody else in here? Yes. Because I got. Ah. Yes, that is an Argonian heart. Of that I am sure. You have slain Scartail. Well done. Please, take these boots as payment for your services. They are called the Boots of Bloody Bounding and carry a powerful enchantment. I'm sure you will find them most useful. Uh, yeah, powerful enchantment. Okay, contract. Fort Such. I am familiar with that place. It's nestled deep in the mountains. It is naturally well defended, but there is a weakness. Just what I want to hear. 
Not far from the ruins of Fort Such lies the ruins of a tower. That tower was once part of the Fort Such Abbey. The two ruins lie apart on the surface, but underground they are connected by some now flooded tunnels. Wet and dark, yes, but surely unguarded. Excellent. May you walk always in the shadow of... Alright, let me check out this bow and boots that I got. Uh, boots of Bloody Bounding. Acrobatics and Blade. Not bad. I also prefer, like, um... What do you call them? Like, bonuses to these. And then... The bow? I forgot what it was called. Shadow Hunt. Oh my god! Turn the turn undead is actually pretty dang good. Uh, damage health and magicka and weakness to poison. That ain't bad, actually. I... Mm, the damage is four compared to eight on the bow of storms. So I'd mostly be relying on poisons if I was to use shadow hunt. Herm. Herm, herm, herm. I'll probably keep, definitely gonna keep it as a souvenir. I think before anything, um, I'm going to head back to, that's not where I want to go. I'm gonna head back to my, uh, my wizard tower. Krug lives an amazing quadruple life, probably more even. Hero of Kvatch, uh, Paladin of the Knight of the Nine. I forgot to use the well entrance. Uh, yeah, Paladin of the Knight of the Nine, Leader of the Fighters Guild, Archmage of the, uh, Mages Guild, the Grey Fox of the Thieves Guild. That's five, and now here we are at six, where I will presumably be the leader of this group, as, of this ragtag group as well. Either way, a bunch of these are going into my, uh, into my, um, treasures hole. Treasures hole Z. Hell you. Uh, bam. <sighs> it is past midnight at the time of recording this, so I apologize for my inherent sleepitude. Crab meat. Oh yeah, the stuff I got from the, uh, a while back in there. Neato. Burrito. A uh, Daniel DeVito. Uh, let's go on over in here. Because I also want to put away... I'll put away Shadow Hunt. Think, let me keep the Langerwine Blades, so I'll put that in there too. I gotta sell this Greater Staff of Ruin, because I didn't. I forgot I even had it. I cannot remove the Blade of Woe. No matter what, it is stuck to me. Boots of bloody bounding. I'll keep uh, I'll keep like the light stuff because cruelty hearts only one pound. Wait, why why does a ring weigh weigh one pound? At first second I thought I said a wing weigh. Oh, the sackcloth and pants uh, are are uh, yeah, those are trophies. Oh, and I gotta put my hat back on. Just like what if like I'm out here doing all this stuff? Oh, I still have the base ring of alchemy on. What am I here doing all this stuff? And then like someone was talking to Orion. He's like, "Hey, some guys going out there assassinating people in your in your family in your like family's heirloom helmet. What like what's going on with that?" And he's just like, "I gave that to one person." Oh, what's oh darkness eternal? That's when I turned to a to, turn to a vampire. Oh right, no 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 no. I don't want to go anywhere yet. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I gotta go through my, uh, my stuff here and find ingredients what give invisibility. So, Dan, feel free to skip this and I'll, I'll show everyone what I come up with. Alright, what I got is the tinder polyp, uh, uh, yeah, t tinder, uh, oh no, this is gonna poison me too, though. It's gonna damage my magicka. It's the only ingredients I had that, d that give me invisibility, though. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like it's that bad. 34 seconds of invisibility on self. Uh... The Unseen Sandwich. Fortunately, I, I absorb Magicka really well, and if it's not like damaging my maximum Magicka, which I think can only be done by damaging my intelligence, then I think I'm good. So yeah, I'll just make the Unseen Sandwich and then uh, and then head on my way here. I was thinking, the difference between invisibility and, I, I've got, basically I have eight charges of invisibility. Oh, make that nine, because I didn't realize I had another one. Um, so yeah, pretty much, um, the way to kind of go about that I, I'm thinking about this, I could have gone chameleon, 
But invisibility gives guaranteed invisibility at the cost of, like, if I interact with something, then I become visible again. So, I'm gonna take my chances with that. Uh, that's where I need to go, around here. County Kvetch! Uh, I'll go to the Varus camp. Kill anybody there, and, uh, you know, actually, I will go to... I'll go to Anvil, um, with the portal, just so it doesn't, like, waste time. Uh, in-game. Skingrod, Anvil. Skingrod. This is a little hop, skip, and a jump over to, uh, over to the Varus camp. I think those camps was where I picked up the, uh... Oh boy. Hi! Oh, you are not making me kill your dog. Are you kidding me? No, come on, Poo Poochie. Your, your master, Poochie. Uh. That was needlessly cruel. Love dogs, you can't do that to me. Might as well like, I'm gonna use the rest of my soul gems. And I use them for like emergencies, but eh, you know. Okay. So, according to uh, the intel I got from uh, Tenement or whatever his name is, uh, there is a tower nearby this fort that will supposedly be unguarded. Ah! Mountain Lion! Jesus, you're strong. Come now. I don't know where you went. I just wasted a charge of this belt. I need your soul. There we go. I don't know why you had gold on you, but you know what? More power to you for trying to make, make uh, uh, you know, make the world your own, you dig? Oh, it seems like the uh, the marker on this map isn't pointing me to the tower itself. Also, yeah, I'm gonna put on the gray fox's cowl or the 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 nocturnal cowl. Just yeah, because I'm afraid of like coming across stuff that I can't see and it just lunging at me. Oh man, I feel like I'm moving real fast here. Although that might have to do with the with uh, the amount of sneak I gained from nocturnal's cowl. There's a mine and a village here. I'm curious about the village, but it can wait until after I'm done here. Supposedly, there is bingo. Oh my god, in a Daedric Shrine? Hell yes, dude! All right, now that we're here, I'm thinking that next time on the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, I have successfully entered Fort Such. I must now locate Roderick's medicine to replace it with the bottle of poison medicine. I'm going to be sneaking my way through here and hopefully delivering the goods without being seen. See you all then! Later! The Unseen Sandwich shall help me.